before I do uh, show you the pictures and talk about it, I'm, I've been asked some questions about my being able to see these chakras, etc. And many people want these chakras, etc. And many people want to do the same. Let me say this. This book, of course, I met Dr. Karaguda in, I think, around in the 50s sometimes. And we did this research around in the 50s sometimes. And we did this research work uh, for some years. And she was very interested in SSH as she, she was a neuropsychiatrist. She had a lot of connections <clears throat> with hospitals, hospitals, and she was able, uh, which is already an achievement, to let her go in, look at the medical records, and for me to allow to be working with her. Then uh, I, of course, never knew, I never in my life knew the names of anybody. And I wrote uh, about the chakras, I'll continue that. But how did I develop it? How did I get to know it? I'm, a, first of all, an old lady. I've had a tremendous lot of experience. This is the first thing I think one has to realize. Uh, with this particular capacity, and uh, I had certainly parents. I'm very, very fortunate. Uh, in many ways, because I think so many people today have hang up about their parents. I can own parents. <laughs> they were extremely supportive and helpful to me at any time. So I, that is, uh, that, that I think has been a great help. And also, I will say this much about myself, I have to eat, which is <laughs> which is unusual. <laughs> but she thought the most important thing she could bring about in our life is that fun. The thing she could bring about in our life is that fun. Between five and six on, till I left when I was fairly young. A teenager, uh, she had us meditate every day of our life. So I think we got very early in our life. So I think we got very early in our life in the habit of uh, concentration, etc. And I think that would help to take it as a matter of course. Everything what I ever said was taken completely as a matter of course, let me put it that way. Everything what I ever said was taken completely as a matter of course, let me put it that way. And uh, uh, nothing was said. I think that would give you a background, at least. And, and uh, let me say this. My father was a man who thinks that he brought this up. My father was a man who thinks that he brought this up his children with, on a Socratic method. And the Socratic method meant that when you stated something, he would give you exactly the opposite point of view. <laughs> we, we knew it didn't bother us, anyone, because we knew perfectly well that he was completely accepted many things. But uh, it brought me very early to suggest uh, to the experience of you. And he was very curious and scientifically minded, let me put it that way. And my mother was the opposite. She was very interested in meditation, etc., etc. So I've had in my life, from early life, a balance, could I put it that way, in the influences of my life. I've met many people in the medical profession in my life, and I always am in sympathy, in other words, at the way I've been brought up, that at first, like Dr. Karagula herself, she didn't believe in anything of it. Am I making that clear? And that, I feel, is quite justified from that point of view. So uh, I have been brought up <laughs> from early life.
And, uh, and I think I did was able to see these things. Many years ago, I started working with, the med with doctors. And in one way, you're always brought up to the facts of the disease process of uh, the, what people experience. So you cannot dwell, dwell too far in a world of unreality. And I learned to say, anybody can make a mistake, isn't that so? But this work which I did with Dr. Uh, Caragula, even she say so. It's her book, uh, Caragula, even she say so. It's her book, really, which was translated, and not me. I mean, of course, I'm, it's my work. It requires tremendous patience, which I don't think is my virtue, really. At least uh, it is a training in, at least uh, it is a training in this sort of thing, to being very observant in detail, because finally uh, it requires that if one deals with these complicated diseases and this sort of thing, which are research uh, project in fact, as much as is possible, which does require a discipline, let me put it that way, doesn't it? I mean, if you read this book, it is in detail. And uh, I think most people, I think very many people who listen to me uh, and ask me these questions, that it takes an enormous practice and experience, but also discipline. You've got to put your mind, as I say, I am impatient by temperament. And uh, so, I mean, for hours at a time, in other words, to observe the details of the details of brain patterns, all these different things about the, uh, what I thought was the disease p p uh, process, where it was located, and the chakras, and I'll talk about that in detail, where the, the dysrhythmia, and correlated with the, the, the dysrhythmia, and correlated with the dysrhythmia in the physical uh, body, in other words, in the pro actual disease progress, not in my ma imagination, am I making that clear, uh, took care. And I think uh, took care for observation, observation, and uh, I am, a f I think, a pretty factual girl. I, I deal with a great deal, and I am in, uh, I'm working in research projects now in which I'm very interested. It isn't so easy, am I putting it that way? It requires a determined, I've really learned, uh, I don't think that somebody else taught me exactly. It is by correlating known facts, could I put it that way, with whatever observed. And if I made the mistake, I learned by making the mistake. Isn't that true? And so I want you to realize this. You're going to ask me that, and you have already asked me that. Uh, it is, one has to have uh, some sort of basic, I think, uh, I suppose, inborn faculty of this. But I think if I've been useful at all, it is because I think I am, could I put it that way? And one has to be that way, did it? Now, that's all I was going to say, so don't ask me anymore at the end of it.